So I picked up a Leap Motion. Uh, what the Leap Motion is, is it's a device that tracks your hands. Uh, right now this company is focused on VR. Um, I can use this uh, with my cell phone, um, my smartphone, and I could use this with an app called Bridge, as well as there's a desktop app to use with it called uh, Ripcat, and basically allows you to play Oculus and Vive games on your cell phone. So I'm streaming these games actually in 4K using USB tethering to my phone, which my phone doesn't support 4K, but it looks better that way. It's a 2K phone, so... But if you select 4K, it, it alleviates the majority of the jaggy issues. And it works great with uh, USB tethering. It also supports Wi-Fi, but it doesn't really work very well over Wi-Fi. It lags and the image quality breaks up. But once you plug in with USB, it's, it looks great. And it works fine. Um, so, one thing... Uh, well... So basically, you'll be able to have your hands in VR. So, uh, say, there's a Blocks demo on their, their website. I downloaded it, and I got it running. And basically, the Blocks demo is actually really fun. Uh, I wish there was more to it, but it, it's just, uh, it's really cool to use just because you can see your hands and everything, and it has this, it gives you this feeling like, uh, Almost like you're a weird, you're a wizard or something, and you could do all this crazy stuff. So, it's really cool. You can create blocks out of thin air and throw them, and you know all this other crap. Um, it's a little blurry for some reason. Um, so yeah, there's the uh, there's that. Uh, the thing about uh, Vive games is a lot of them require positional tracking, and uh, positional tracking is not supported yet in um, in Bridge. Bridge is in beta and uh, yeah so there's no positional tracking and you don't have room scale VR so a lot of that stuff is lacking and because of that you really can only start the games up and look around and stuff and you can, with the leap motion you can actually emulate the Vive controllers kind of uh, it's a little buggy but you can do it <laughs> but it's just not it, you know, you may want to look at it and don't buy anything. Don't buy any, uh, don't buy any, uh, Vive games. Uh, <laughs> it'd be a waste. Uh, for all I know, they may patch what we're, you know, what you're able to do with the, the Vive games. Um, like they do with the Oculus Store. They patched out the Vive users, uh, from being able to, to download and play their games using, uh, what was that, uh, Revive. So... You know, don't go buying anything, but, you know, try out some free demos if you want. Uh, I haven't really been able to have a good experience with much that, uh, that supports the Vive and its controllers. Most of the times you're just standing there looking at the controllers and there's not much going on. But if you use some of the Oculus stuff, all that sit-down VR stuff seems to work fine. And if it supports the Leap Motion... It's a lot better because you can see you can move your individual fingers and everything, and it, it really is awesome. The immersion is awesome with the the vibe. I mean, with the leap motion, not the vibe. Um, so that's cool. I have the leap motion actually affixed to my little Homido headset now. Uh, it is actually glued on. So a lot of people use like uh, Velcro. I didn't have any Velcro, and I wanted to get it done, so I was just like, screw it, I got some crazy glue. I can remove crazy glue, so if I need to remove it, I will, but, you know, there's that. So now it's a fix. There's also a mount you can get. I don't see the point in getting the mount, unless it's like, you know, you really have to have it because of its looks or something. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, there's also an update for this that uh, makes the tracking a lot better called Orion, it's in beta um, so it's not perfect but it does work better and stuff so I was able to download some stuff from the uh, Leap Motion website and I was uh, I was playing some of it 
haven't really got to everything yet, but that was really cool. Um, with the Vive controllers, I had to download uh, the Vive. There's a Vive setup, or it didn't work. There's there's like drivers you, you download. Someone made some drivers that let you use the Leap as if it were two Vive controllers. Um, and then there was... Um, but once I installed that, it didn't work, so I had to actually download the Vive uh, installer app thing or whatever it is, and then uh, that that made it work. But then once I launch a Vive game, it's really kind of pointless because it I can't do anything um, unless they make a lot of uh, if they make any free uh, sit down uh, VR experiences, you may be able to use them. But uh, if it requires positional tracking for you to do anything, um, yeah. Then oh, I tried v VR Home or the Vive Home, whatever the hell it's called, and that was boring to me. But I didn't, re I wasn't really able to, to use it properly either. So, because um, I was able to teleport with the uh, controllers, so instead of walking or whatever, I was able to use the the controller to teleport. But the problem was that because of the buggy nature of the controls, it was very hard to do. So, yeah, it really wasn't much interesting going on with the Vive. The only thing I tried, what was it? Um, I don't know, there's a big screen beta thing. I can use that, that's fine. That doesn't even, that doesn't even support any kind of hand tracking at all. So, that's just like a sit down look at a screen kind of experience so um, there wasn't much going on there but for the most part uh, if you try out the um, cause, uh, 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 Rifcat, the, the Rifcat client has um, software that's actually licensed and everything on their, uh, they have a store so they get uh, some developers will put their their games on their store, and uh, basically they have Sightline the Chair, which actually supports the Leap Motion. I gotta look to see if there's anything else there, but that was really cool with the Leap Motion. It was a lot better than just no no hand tracking at all. Um, it was cool being able to knock all that stuff, you know, all these little balls, the stupid brick balls, balls, uh, uh, and all that, whatever. It was cool. Then I tried this other game, it was something noir or whatever it was called, that it's kind of silly, like this weird, a very weird uh, track, audio track to it. The, the commentary is a little weird, but the, uh, hand, the representation of the hands is very good, and... Um, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> There's nothing you can touch really in the in the uh, in the uh, environment, and uh, for the most part, you're just sitting there. And then some weird robot walks in, and um, it's very weird. <laughs> but it's a cool experience for you know a quick VR thing where you you know you have your hands in there, and then yeah. And what else did I try? Hmm. I'm going to be recording some stuff, so there you go. I'll be recording a few things. I'll definitely check out the block demo as a recording. And that's that. Oh, and uh, if you... Make sure that if you have, like... Um, what the hell is it? Uh, if you have Shadow Play, uh, disable it. Because it actually hits the CPU really hard while you're trying to do this. And it causes terrible issues. So... Just make sure you don't have shadow play running. So thank you for watching, and uh, expect some leap motion kind of VR footage coming up soon. Oh, and by the way, uh, Google and Android N is working on putting VR into Android N, and, and it's going to actually be a hell of a lot better than the cardboard stuff. The only problem I think is that uh, the um, you'll have to have a cell phone that supports it. Apparently it's going to be the next wave of cell phones or something like that will support it. The ones running Android N or whatever it's called. Something, is it Daydream or something? I forget. Google Daydream, I forget. I think that's what it's called. But it looks really cool. They got their own controllers, so there'll be hand, uh, hand tracking uh, 
and you won't have wires attached to a computer and it shouldn't be anywhere near as expensive so you should be good there uh, hopefully I hope it all works out because it actually looks really good um, so have a good day and thank you for watching